Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 Beta on the GeForce GTX 950 for FPS Margin. I'll be using Cam. If you want to learn how to use it, click on the top right corner of the video where the Cam logo is or check the description below if you want to learn more. So Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 Beta, I'll do 1080p, 900p and 720p. To skip down of those sections of the video, check the description below. I'll be using many settings for each resolution so you can see pretty much the difference between them, performance wise. But the game, no matter what, stuttered all over the place, which is to be expected from a beta, but this one was pretty rough. I was kind of shocked on how bad it ran on 2GB cards. So this game runs on a very recent version of the Cry Engine, the game engine from Crytek. This one looks very good, I have to say, but the game is very inconsistent. I mean, even if you're, I don't know, playing at 720p on over 60 frames per second, the frame rate will be going up and down all the time and you'll be having difficulties to aim. Aiming is very difficult right now when the frame rate, when you're getting attacked, for example, since that's when the frame rate suffers the most. When you're getting attacked by a lot of enemies at the same time and you're trying to fight them off, the frame rate just goes up and down. It, it varies quite a lot and it's very difficult to aim. I try this on many cards. On 4GB cards, the game had some stutters every now and then. They are annoying, but at least you can play the game somewhat good on the foggy cards, on 2GB cards like the 750 Ti and 950 I had way more issues with stuttering it was pretty much unplayable in some sections or when there are many enemies attacking you at once when those moments happened and with the GTX 1060 6GB it wasn't stuttering as much as the foggy cards but it was using over 5GB of VRAM which is insane and we don't even have a texture quality option, I hope that's added in the final game. But yeah, this game is using a lot of VRAM, or maybe has a memory leak, I don't know. Just remember that this is a beta, so the developers have still two months to fix the issues. So hopefully when the final game releases, we won't have those problems. Apart from the variable frame rate, we have very variable frame times. So the game feels, I don't know, you're playing at 50 frames per second, it feels like you're playing below 30 due to inconsistent frame time, which is even worse than having low frame rates, unfortunately. On low settings on all cards, it doesn't run that good, it's very inconsistent. But when I try medium or high settings, the game was way more consistent compared to low settings on all cards. So I suggest playing on high, even if that means playing at 30 frames per second, it won't be perfect but at least you will have a more consistent experience. Hopefully in around two months from now, when the game releases, this will be sorted out. But we'll find out once the game releases, so remember that this is a beta. I won't be... <laughs> I'll repeat it again since a lot of people forget that. But yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. What about the ICC? This is American justice. Shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah, well, I've seen Separatist handiwork in the field, so I don't have any questions. Torture and killing of POWs, rape and burning civilians alive. First target on the most wanted list is Ivan Khrushchev. Ivan Khrushchev, yeah. Rodki Lyon said I could find him in the blocks. New intel has him moving around the complex. He's deeply paranoid and always travels with a heavy escort. No fancy footwork, John. In and out quickly. Do as much damage as you can and head home. Will do. Out. Perimeter is breached. We have an intruder. Firing mortars!
Alex. New intel has him moving around the complex. He's deeply paranoid and always travels with a heavy escort. No fancy footwork, John. In and out quickly. Do as much damage as you can and head home. Will do. Out. Got some new intel for me? New category of targets. The most wanted list. The most dangerous separatist monsters out there. We're talking horrific war crimes. JSOC wants them dispensed with where and when we find them. What about the ICC? This is American justice. Shoot first, ask questions later. 
Yeah, well, I've seen Separatist handiwork in the field, so I don't have any questions. Torture and killing of POWs, rape and burning civilians alive. First target on the most wanted list is Ivan Khrushchev. Ivan Khrushchev. Roger. Get down! Get down now! You think he's still out there? It's heavily guarded. It won't be easy to sneak into the building. Try to find the other way. Maybe you can take him out from a distance. Roger. Permission to engage. Another day in paradise. I can no longer see. 
Get down! Get down now! 